Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Presently, there has been a continuous uprising in the threats posed by unmanned aerial vehicles, simply known as drones. The sky has become a battlefield with the different levels of threats posed by the illegal or unwanted intrusion of drones. Drones have become a fundamental part of modern warfare and can be used to surveil and gather information from enemy positions. It then becomes necessary for the United States forces to develop ways of keeping their assets and airspace safe. The U.S. Marine Corps make use of an impressive counter-drone device known as the Drone Buster, which is a five-pound ray gun-like device that can be used to jam drones. The gun has an endurance of about three hours and a continuous jamming ability in radio frequency detection mode. Its effective range varies from the drone to the controller, and a typical range is some 300% of the distance from the drone to the controller. The Drone Buster is a state-of-the-art handheld anti-drone solution to counter foreign drone surveillance or interference and protect key areas. Unlike the traditional portable anti-drone jammer that relies on humans visually searching for drones, this new, small-sized counter-drone technology can detect threats easily and is capable of using radio frequency energy to overpower the drone's control frequency, causing it to stop, hover, or return to its operator without the need for human intervention. It can also overwhelm a drone's GPS and cause it to crash. It gives its operators a high degree of flexibility because of its mobility. The Marine Corps has devised a way to learn how to deal with real threats using virtual reality testing. They are taking advantage of advanced technologies and transforming tactical ways of operating drone busters with immersive solutions. Using virtual reality to simulate real-life situations to train soldiers has proven to be an efficient way of equipping the crew with the ability to experience real-life scenarios right in the training center. This expensive testing, anti-drone testing, is worth each dollar spent on keeping the airspace safe. Apart from the handheld counter UAV devices, there are tons of devices that are held in a stationary configuration. They can be fixed on site or mounted on a vehicle. These technologies integrate the capabilities of a single end-to-end -end solution by using its radar and multi-sensory system to detect several threats from a long distance in all weather conditions. One of these technologies uses an electro-optical sensor to lock in on the detected target while tracking it using a video motion detector. The system can aid in classifying the object using machine learning technology and an extensive library of drone flight paths. A single operator can easily use them. The system can interact with multiple sensors while correlating real-time data from various distributed sensors to provide complete situational awareness on a map. A central hub oversees some of these technologies and enables real-time monitoring and adjustments as necessary. The High Energy Laser System is also an effective weapon for countering the threat of surveillance drones. The combat laser weapon uses a series of smaller individual lasers broken into their component wavelengths and then combines those separate laser beams into one massively powerful beam of drone blasting light. 
In most cases, these laser weapons lead to the physical thermal destruction of targets during contact, or just neutralizing their threats instead of burning them off. The Marine Corps laser weapon system, which can be mounted on a vehicle, can be equipped with more than 30 kW of enormous beam strength. These technologies rely on many modular fiber lasers. They can easily be scaled to meet different levels of power so that the laser weapon system can have an unlimited quantity of firepower. Lasers are excellent choices because they are hard to detect by the enemy, hit the target fast at the speed of light, and have been identified to have a low cost per shot compared to conventional weapons. Even though the Marine Corps uses anti-drone technologies, they utilize drones that help facilitate their mission with greater convenience. For instance, they make use of the MQ-9 Reaper to provide intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR support. The MQ-9 is a remotely piloted aircraft with human ground controllers, which is used to gather intelligence and thwart the threat of dynamic, time-sensitive targets with its targeting system. The turboprop-powered, multi-mission unmanned aircraft is maintained at regular intervals. The Reaper requires a team to keep it running from the airframe and avionics specialists to the weapons loaders. They all collaborate to ensure that this remotely piloted aircraft is prepared at a moment's notice. These professionals use cutting edge tools to ensure the aircraft can navigate flawlessly through combat situations and pinpoint the targets crucial to the mission. The routine check includes a maintenance checklist, ranging from checking the filter, engine oil, and spark plugs to chafing on wires. The MQ-9 Reaper system comprises a drone with sensors and weapons, a ground control station, a Predator primary satellite link, support systems, and a qualified crew of operators. The main crew includes the sensor operator, who serves as its commander, and his assistant, who oversees the functions of the weapons and sensors. The MQ-9 has a multi-spectral targeting system, a shortwave infrared camera, a laser rangefinder, a laser target illumination system, radar, and an infrared sensor with a color and monochrome day camera. Its standard armament consists of two GBU-12 Paveway, two laser-guided bombs, and four AGM-114 Hellfire laser-guided air-to-ground missiles, but it can also be fitted with other weapon systems.
The MQ-9 operates from typical airfields with a clear line of sight to the ground data terminal antenna, providing good visuals for takeoff and landing. It has a wingspan of 20.12 meters, is 3.80 meters tall, and is about 10.97 meters long. To make drone deployment during combat more agile, it can also include software with automatic takeoff and landing capabilities. Similar to the MQ-9, the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is an unmanned aircraft system, or UAS, that provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR, capabilities to the U.S. Air Force. It is made to collect near-real-time, high-resolution imagery of more than 40,000 square miles of terrain in all conditions, while additionally assisting air and ground users with a communications relay system and can fly at high altitudes for more than 30 hours. The operator interface, also known as the cockpit, is part of the ground segment of the aircraft, and the cockpit is a modernized system that allows remote operators to command and control the aircraft, as well as check on its condition. This cockpit is incredibly adaptable, can be placed almost anywhere, and still function impressively well. However, moving this 1,000-pound cockpit around necessitates a high level of expertise, since it can be challenging to move it without disrupting the operation's flow in general. This massive $123 million drone is powered by one Rolls-Royce F-137RR100 turbofan with 7,600 pounds of thrust and can reach speeds of up to 391 miles per hour. It has a modular self-defense system that includes a radar warning receiver, an onboard jamming system, and a towed decoy system. The V-tail configuration with a 50-degree dihedral angle provides a low radar and infrared signature and has wings spanning 116.2 feet and can be improved to carry an increased payload during flights. It is 44.4 feet long and 15.2 feet tall, has a gross takeoff weight of 25,600 pounds, and can be easily controlled from the ground station with just a mouse click. Unmanned aerial vehicles and countermeasures have been extensively used for defensive and offensive mechanisms. This is not surprising because they can be deployed quickly for long periods of time and to lethal effect at lower financial cost and risk to life, making them excellent choices in modern warfare. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.